President uh, Imam Ali Rahman, first of all, I want to congratulate you for successfully hosting the SEO conference today. Secondly, I want to thank you on behalf of my de delegation, the hospitality, the, the warmth that you have shown us on our visit here. <coughs> we discussed wide-ranging subjects relating to trade between the two countries, um, the connectivity, the shortest route from, uh, from Tajikistan to the Indian Ocean to the sea is through Pakistan. So we discussed that and how we can mutually benefit from trade, whether it's textiles or it is uh, pharmaceuticals, tourism, but today the most uh, important subject and uh, what concerns our two countries most of all is Afghanistan. And as Mr. President, you quite rightly said that it is extremely important not just for Tajikistan and Pakistan that there is peace in Afghanistan, but especially for the long-suffering people of Afghanistan, for 40 years there has been conflict in the country and it has caused immense suffering for the people there. So we discussed how, given the current situation, how we can ensure or try our best that there is peace and stability in the future. And one of the conflicts which is worrying us, worrying you I know, Worrying us in Pakistan is uh, the conflict in Panjshir between the Tajik and, uh, and the Taliban. And we resolved today that we will try our best. You, Mr. President, will mm -hmm. try your influence with the Tajik, and we will try our best with the Pashtun or the, or the Taliban. We will try our best to make them resolve the differences through dialogue. And we will urge on them that it's important for the sake of Afghanistan that there is an inclusive government. Unless there is an inclusive government in a country which is diverse, there are Pashtuns in 45%, uh, then there's a huge Tajik uh, uh, minority in Afghanistan. Then there are Uzbeks, then there are Hazaras. So a sustainable peace in Afghanistan can only come if there is an inclusive government. So we will try our best, we will urge, we know we can't dictate to uh, any, any other country, but we will try our best, our influence, urge them as friends of Afghanistan that they must resolve this, uh, this especially this issue which is now erupting between the Tajik and uh, uh, and the Taliban in the Panjshir Valley. And we will also urge them on humanitarian grounds, they must, if they open the blockade, so humanitarian aid can go through. Um, we can, at this juncture, Ms. Mr. President, as you and I have both discussed today in great length, that uh, this is a, a defining moment in Afghanistan's history. It can go two ways. It can either go towards lasting peace, which, they, which has eluded them for the last 40 years, or unfortunately it can go uh, the, 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 the nightmare scenario where it can have more conflict, a humanitarian crisis, more refugees, an unstable Afghanistan which could be used uh, for, by terrorists, Pakistan at least, there are three different terrorist groups that were using Afghan soil to uh, do terrorist attacks within Pakistan. So therefore it is in everyone's interest. In fact it is the world international community. It's in everyone's interest that there is stability and peace in Afghanistan. And so the peace as we agreed today can only come if it, there is an inclusive government. All different points of views, factions, ethnic groups, all of them are included in a government which will lead to sustainable peace. So I thank you again Mr. President for your, 
for your warmth and your great hospitality. Uh, I must say, on behalf of my delegation, everyone has been very impressed. We have seen the development that has taken place. Uh, we have seen the buildings, the greenery. Uh, it shows that uh, you have a real passion. You, you feel for uh, to develop your country. And uh, it has really impressed my delegation. And I want to congratulate you for that. Thank you. Salam Abushay, Kusan Yavish.